How can we make a low-budget feature? How can we make something that is interesting, a compelling story? How can we do it uh, cheaply, but also give it a, a sense of quality and uh, bring in an excellent cast? Uh, and we were able to come up with a great location and shot in New Mexico, in the Las Cruces area, in the um, Mesilla Valley, which is where the Rio Grande runs through. It's a beautiful piece of the country. And we had access to a bunch of horses and to a ranch there. And it was just a great experience as far as dealing with the local people, the local locations, and everything that lent itself to giving La Mesa a real authentic 1930s um, style uh, piece. Uh, and, you know, when you start a film and you're getting all your pre-production ready, your first, your, the first thing you have to figure out is, all right, who's doing what? And a lot of the times, because we had such a small crew, we didn't have that luxury. I was the director of La Mesa. That's how I knew about it. Great. We had some um, times where we, people would show up late or we had to hurry up and get things done. And um, we just went with what we had. Um, and, you know, shoot, it was a lot of almost shooting from the gut as much as it was shooting from the head. Or the hip? Um, shooting or the, from the hip? <laughs> It was a little bit of shooting from the hip. We are in New Mexico, so... Uh, and, yes, and you can carry a gun in New Mexico. That's right. Walker's wife, Jen, um, made some delicious meals, and that's what they got paid in. And they were... It wasn't that they didn't want to want money, or it was more a fact that they had a passion as well. And they were, they were given an opportunity to live in that passion. Um, even if it was just for three weeks. Uh, we were driving around finding locations and uh, jumping out of vehicles and saying, hey, let's do it right there, let's go, let's go, let's go. And um, the actors were great about that too, just giving us an opportunity to not only, not only help them write something better, but to take it and say, all right, I'm gonna learn it right now and I'm gonna go with it and they just, they were just troopers. We had to kind of come up with an alternate ending because the original way that we'd had the piece end uh, didn't work as we went back to the editing process and we realized that this scene just does not wrap up the story the way that we want to. So we have all this material. We have uh, a brand new ending. We have uh, these beautiful shots of New Mexico desert and some great acting. And if you could um, stick that all into a bucket, shake it around and then dump out a movie, that would have been great, but there was a whole lot more work ahead of us, um, especially ahead of you, Walker, uh, because you got a chance to do the majority of the, the editing on, on this film. Um, tell us what that was like, the, the opportunity to, to edit your first feature. Yes, well, that was more of um, kind of the duty fell to me just because uh, we didn't have the budget to really hire a professional editor on a full-time basis. So I said, well, fine, I'll, I'll work on it. I'll figure out how to do it. And uh, I spent, um, I would say, about a 1,000 hours of my own personal time working on it, handing it off to a couple of editors here and there along the way just for their tips and their advice and their guidance. And, uh, and then once I got to the end of what I could do, uh, of course, involving Chris in the process, uh, giving him cuts and letting him give his notes and finishing it up that way. Um, gave it to um, another friend who, who's finishing up the color correction element of it. And uh, another thing that he is helping is an up res to the HD format. We shot on standard def during a time when uh, standard def was an industry standard. Now, as we're finishing it, the standard is no longer uh, SD. It's gone to HD. And then uh, Warwick Marias as well from the mix in Santa Monica came in and did a final 5.1 uh, surround mix for it. And it sounds beautiful. And the final product, I think, is one that is uh, a real testament to uh, the quality that we were setting out for in the beginning as one of our initial goals. I think we were able to accomplish that. I think one of the biggest blessings and, um, that we've, we've had about this is the fact that you're going to get a chance to see the film, and um, not every film gets a chance to be seen. Not every film that ever gets made uh, sees the light of day, and not every film gets picked up by um, by a company to to who wants to show it. That would that said, hey, this is something that people will want to watch, and this is a this is a film that that is that's worthy of of, of putting out there. Yeah, here's what we have. Uh, we have an interesting story. We've got a great director. 
We've got um, a strong cast. We have a really beautiful location. And uh, we think we put all that together. And uh, it's a piece that uh, is worth watching. And I believe that everyone would enjoy uh, the opportunity to sit down and watch uh, La Mesa. So thanks for joining us for this making of behind the scenes uh, little featurette regarding uh, La Mesa. And um, hope you enjoy the film. <laughs>